Hello everyone, it's Theme Park Avenue, I'm Eric, with a new Universal Orlando review. Today, I'm reviewing one of the newest rides at Universal Studios Orlando, The Simulator Race Through New York, starring Jimmy Fallon. Let's get right into it. Before we begin, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. It really helps support the channel and you'll know when new videos come out. I have all sorts of videos on the way. Now let's talk about Race Through New York. Let's begin with the outside area. This is in the New York area, shocker, of Universal Studios Orlando, or Florida, and it is interesting. As this area, other than that, has one ride, that is Revenge of the Mummy. This replaced a simulator theme to Twister, I don't know if that was also part of the New York area, it seems weird if it was, but I have not been on that. And Race Through New York was an interesting replacement, I'm not quite sure where they got the idea to theme a ride to Jimmy Fallon, but let's talk Q. The Q is fantastic. It's not really a standard line, you instead get a wait time where you get to go in like a specific time with a virtual queue, but you can also wait inside and see shows going on with some of the people that would guest star on Jimmy Fallon and that kind of thing. There's a lot of cool theming to NBC Studio. It's very elaborate, well done. It is the highlight of the ride experience. And even though the queue is great, if the queue is the best part of your ride, that is never a good thing. I'm sorry, it's never a good thing because the simulator itself is not all that great. It's not terrible, but there's not a lot of movement in my opinion. I'd say next to Despicable Me, this is the tamest motion simulator I've ever been on. It's really just not all that in interesting as far as the simulator part goes. The screen itself is decent quality, the 3D doesn't look all that great, and it's mostly just kind of a gimmick, which you'd expect, but I mean, they incorporate it interestingly enough, I guess. This is widely considered one of the worst rides in the park, I think, actually, and I think a lot of it can depend on how much you like Jimmy Fallon. I thought the pre-show was pretty funny with Jimmy Fallon, and there's this part where the safety instructions are wrapped. I like that. Some people don't like rap music or that sort of thing, but I did enjoy that whole pre-show thing. It was fun. Overall, the pre-show, the queue, those are the highlights of the ride. The ride itself, the race is not all that interesting. You go to the moon, but it just doesn't feel there that interesting to me. It just kind of all happens, and coming off, I was just kind of like, eh, I did that, I'm not doing it again. I, I've actually done the ride twice total, in different seats, and it doesn't really matter too much where you sit, in my opinion. It looks decent the whole way through, but overall, it's not a great ride. It's not bad, but it's just a slightly below average ride. As far as Simulator goes, I like this more than Shrek 4D by a lot, and definitely more than Despicable Me Minion Mayhem, but it's really not that great. I'd say ride it once, especially if you don't have to wait very long, but you probably won't want to do it again unless you really like Jimmy Fallon or just the ride really appeals to you. So overall, Q is good, theming is good, the ride itself is just okay. It's really just a filler ride that doesn't really need to be there. And that's really my thoughts. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comment your thoughts on Race to New York down below. I have plenty of more reviews on the way. I'll see you next time.